give you guys some some tips there's some new monkeys definitely for Christmas so uh, Merry Christmas and I'm going to show you how to become a true monkey like me in I don't know how many steps I guess we'll find out first thing is movement and your flow so what you want to do is stay parallel to the ground when you're trying to I guess throw yourself so what you're doing is you're just staying parallel don't go up if you go up like that you're losing distance and you want to be going as fast as you can so you just you just become monkey crawl through it get, get in the monkey stance and just just go and you just do that and you know you can really get get in there you just monkey <laughs> next thing you want to do is learn some wall climbing so what I tend to tell people is what you're doing is you're hitting yourself onto a wall and then hitting yourself off the wall into another wall. You're not particularly climbing it as much. Like you you're just you're just doing this. So what you want to do there is wait until you you feel and hear the sound of you hitting the wall. Like that. Did you get stuck for a second? And what you want to do is swing after you, after you hear the sound, like that. And when you get good, you can like do some some other moves with it. There's uh, monkeys that climb it a couple different ways, really. There's people that do it wide, like I do, and there's people that do it really really close. And I can't really do it that good, but you you do it like that. So you you get good at this. I would actually recommend Canyons, which is one of the couple maps in this game right now. And I will be showing some of that in a bit, but on to the next tip. So the next tip I'm going to tell you is just how to get good at like branching. And that's just moving on the branches. And it really comes down to practice, knowing what jumps you can make and you just you just do everything that you can and just get on the branches like boop 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 that's the same way I do it every single time I hit that one twice and then I jump over and then jump up and back that's how I do it every single time and once you get your way of doing it the way that feels good to you that works stick with it and then just try and do it faster get it really smooth and get the flow going you don't want to be like staying still trying to set yourself up for a jump you want to be right in there and just doing it have a, a slight plan of where you're gonna go don't plan out a full route just where you're gonna go next a to b and then make a new b when you get to that b so boop and then boop and then go up and then i'm gonna go over to this tree oh i missed that jump okay recover and then you can you know do that anytime you mess up just slightly change your plans and don't be so stingy on how you're gonna get there because there might be someone in your way. So you have to get out of the way. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta like move around a bit. You know, maybe you have to come over here for once. You know, stuff like that. If you can keep smooth with it all and just monkey around, you can, you can be doing stuff like this and just go everywhere. And I can get like multiple hits on walls. But I guess I'll show you guys a a tip on the walls because you do this kind of climbing all over canyons so what you want to do hey what's up monkey what you want to do is the same thing with wall climbing where you're waiting wait till you, till you hear and feel the vibration and then move your arm so if you move it too fast you're gonna end up hitting yourself just straight off you're gonna lose all your velocity and just fall you know go somewhere you didn't want to go and one thing I'll also point out your hand your fingers don't do anything like my fingers go through it so what you want to do is make sure the palm of your hand is what's hitting stuff because that's what not even specifically the palm but the palm area this little this little square right here like if you put all your fingers in like that that's square and you want to make sure that's what's hitting stuff all right since we were over at walls we'll, we'll do this one uh, pinch climbing it's a little bit harder with these lights I actually do not like the lights but you can do it right at a corner so you can kind of skip them so kind of same thing with all the other climbs that we've been doing but you're doing it with both hands at the same time 
And instead of waiting, you're doing the whole thing. You're just just doing this, like arm circles. And then that's all you're doing. But there's that. On to the next tips in Canyon. So I'll say right now, there are a few different maps. There's forest, when, when you spawn in the tree. There's city, which is where the cosmetics are. Down below here is caves, and that's a uh, quite a flat map. Like there's there's stuff to go on, but it, it's very it's very fast paced, and you have to juke a lot. But canyons is my favorite. This is where I learned my myself. I, I learned to wall climb, and I learned it very fast in a couple days while this map was in beta. And ever since then, it's just something you you use just constantly. So you just, you just gotta be able to put everything together that I've told you and just be a monkey. The wind is a bit loud in here too. But right here, this is the main tip for this map, definitely. And I'll give you another one somewhere. There's a couple places I can do it. But with this one, this gray right here is a slippery wall. So like you, you, you can't hold on to it. See, I, I fell. When you're when you're climbing this, this is like the, one of the only spots you can do it. There's there's a couple other spots where if you get a good technique, but this is the main one. You know, you'll see people climbing up like this, but that's kind of slow. But you can actually just hit, hit the slippery walls and hit yourself back into the slippery wall. And this one, I don't even know how to explain the technique. You you kind of have to get it for yourself. But this, I just wanted to let you know you can do this. Basically, like the the wall climbing in forest that I showed you but slightly different, a bit faster. You have to put more force into it. There's some times when you have a ledge above you and there's ways to get around it. Like just uh, wall climbing up, following the groove. I'll show you some more of that, but you follow it up and you just hit yourself around it like that. With the groove stuff, I'll find a good spot for it. But here's another good spot for this. You can, you can do that. Isn't that cool? When it comes to wall climbing in canyons, this is a very great spot to show it. Because I have three different spots I can choose from to show you. And this one's slightly different. But I'm going to show you this one first. Hey, monkey. Monkey. But well, alright, so you want to follow the curve. So you don't want to hit on this side, because you're hitting basically yourself into a wall. You want to start on this side, because you can get that, that leverage. You want to at least be on this side when you're going to go up. Because you, with this being that so tall, you're going to have to hit yourself onto this wall. And you don't want to hit yourself onto a wall that you're hitting yourself down with, basically. So then you just follow this groove. Like, it goes up here, so you're on this side. And then it goes up there, so go to that side. And then just follow it. I need to be going fast for me to really do it. But you just follow it. And there you go. Like that. And then same thing with over here. But what you want to do is same thing. Don't start here because you're hitting yourself up into into that. You don't want to do that unless you're really like, you know, if you're getting, this is mainly if you're getting chased up, like you can easily get like a good jump for it. But it's always just in case. So you start here and then you're on here because then you can get a better, a better launch. And then you can get the launch and come up and go. Yeah. Very nice. You know, you can, this is where, like, I learned to wall climb. Like, I can, I can windmill my arms and just, like, just, just go. <laughs> I get people all the time, I'll be like, oh, no, not getting me. And I'll just keep going. You know? Another cool thing that is good to know is you can still wall climb up these. But same thing, you have to follow it. Just follow it. And then you get up here. And there you go. Big jump. Woo! That's going to be about it. In order to get really good, you just put all of that together and practice. Practice for a long time. I've been playing this game since February. February 17th. It's been over 10 months. And I'm still monkeying. The game, the game is going strong. I hope you guys enjoy. Do not be toxic. If you learned something, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what the, the hardest part of Gorilla Tag is for you. And I'll try and, I'll try and guide you to make it easier.